Good evening, everyone. I'm going to continue. This is part three of Ezekiel, the share of Ezekiel, the prophecy of Ezekiel, chapter 13, chapter 14. Brothers and sisters, heed the word. Lord Jesus states it. It is written. He, he gives us the hint. It is written. What's written? Everything that happens in our lives now, it is. it has been written. There are prophecies. It's the spoken written word. These prophets stated the voice of the Lord. The Lord God says it, it's, it is written, brothers and sisters. It is why it states it also. Um, only because I think it's in Isaiah where it says a little here, a line here, precept there. It's you bring it all together so it can tell us what needs to get done now. A little here, a line there. This is why it's important to study and write down to where the Holy Spirit, the only true teacher, is the Holy Spirit, and He will lead you to write down the scriptures. Go a little here, a little there, precept here, a law here. It it it. It brings to light what is happening. It's what he wants us to hear. He wants us to behold the spoken word. I am not sharing it. I heard someone earlier. It's not, it's not to get popular. I do not care for popularity. I do not care for um, numbers, if that's what it is. I don't get paid for this. This is my free will that I want to share the voice of my God for the love I have for my Lord Jesus because I will stand to tell everyone he did not die for me in vain. I will fight for his, for his name. And brothers and sisters, we all need to heed the word. It's written and we serve, I know I get emotional, we serve an amazing God, a merciful one. He, Ezekiel 14, of what he, what Abba Father states to these people that have fallen prey to the magic divination sorcery of these wicked liars. Abba Father speaks to them because you did not stand firm. You didn't stand firm. This scripture here will, will bring to light Lord Jesus stating when he, when we stand in front of that throne and he says, away from me, I never knew you. Heed the word. Lord Jesus stated what was written what was spoken through the voice of his father. Because people think there's a chance. No, you, you turned and stayed with those wicked people. You kept your souls, as it states here, they captured their souls by this lie, this magic. Heed the word. See the videos one and two, brothers and sisters, to understand why I'm sharing now. Ezekiel 14. It's crucial to, to heed the word. These prophecies are for us, brothers and sisters. And again, as always, I'm giving all glory to my Abba, Father, in the name of his son, Jesus. This is truth. It is what is happening now. And I'll start again with Ezekiel 13, verse 19. And will you profane me? Among my people, he's talking to the wicked, to these people that practice magic that are trying to capture souls. And it says through the arm, they place this magic in their arms. If you go and you read all of uh, Ezekiel 13, these people, these wicked women, men, they add magic in their arm. Heat the word. That's the word to capture souls, as it states, and will you profane me 
among my people. I mean, meaning, will you abuse me? This is what Abba thought. Will you blaspheme me against my people? Among my people, forgive me. For handfuls of barley and pieces of bread. Heed the word. That they fell for the trap to gain, to keep. Mere pieces of barley and bread. When Abba Father is our true provider. Let Satan come and stand. And he mocks Abba Father. He mocks the cross. He'll tell you you'll never make it how. And we, we, Lord Jesus taught us to say it is written. My true provider is Abba Father. For men and women, he is our husband to take care of us here on earth. For Lord Jesus prayed to his Father as in, it states in John 17, keep them safe from the evil one. Do not remove us from here. That's Lord Jesus praying to his Father. His Father loves, Abba Father loves his Son and he'll keep his word to his Son. This is why it's stating here for mere pieces, handfuls of barley and pieces of bread Killing people who should not die and keeping people alive who should not live. By your lying to my people who have listened to your lies. That's Abba Father. That is power of our God speaking prophecy to us now. And he's speaking to those wicked people that are practicing magic. Wickedness, people, listen, brothers and sisters, hermanos, hermanas, heed the word. They are practicing magic and placing it. Do we need more? They're placing this magic that they've developed, that they add to their arms to capture souls. This is the written word. Heed. Ezekiel 14, I'll start at verse 1. Now some of the elders of Israel came to me and sat before me. And the word of the Lord came to me, saying, These are people now. Uh, let, me, let, me, let me just continue. Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts. And put before them that which causes them to stumble unto iniquity. Should I let myself be inquired of all by them? Heed the word. Heed the word, brothers and sisters. These people now are going, did I do right? Did, did, did I do right? You, you, you study the word? Now they go to people that are sharing the word. No, we, we deny getting what they want us to get. To defile the temple of our God. So now these people are fearing and they come. Heed the voice of Abba, Father God. If you do not see the light, pray. Let Abba, Father, speak through his word because he states it clear. Son of man, these men have set up their idols. They, they, they fell for those people because of their titles. Oh, that's so-and-so. That is so-and-so. He knows what he's stating. He's been in that profession for years. Keep the word. They become idols to people that are confused by the wickedness, by this magic of these wicked people. Son of man, these men have set up their idols in their hearts and put before them that which causes them to stumble. They have stumbled by accepting that magic, by that divination, by that sorcery, which causes them to stumble into iniquity. Why iniquity? Because they, they listened, they idolized their profession. That is why. Should I let myself be inquired of 
at all by them? Abba, Father, speak. Should I let them come now and inquire what they should be doing? Should I listen to Abba, Father? Therefore, speak to them and say to them, Thus says the Lord God, it is written, as Lord Jesus states, it is written, thus says the Lord God. Every one of the house of Israel, we all were grafted in from the cross, whom we've accepted as our Lord Jesus, yet we fell, we stumbled into this iniquity, into these lies, Abba Father states, every one of the house of Israel who sets up his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble into iniquity, they've accepted it and they've allowed it to have them confuse and it made them stumble that they fell for the lie. It, it was a deception. Brothers and sisters, it was a deception that you will lose your provision for mere barley and pieces of bread. Heed the word. This is prophecy, brothers and sisters, from the spoken written word. So again, every one of the house of Israel who sets up his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble into iniquity. They place those magic sorcery divinations in front. They've accepted it. It says, and it causes him to stumble into iniquity and then comes to the prophet to, then they go to someone that stood strong in the word, comes to the prophet, I the Lord will answer him who comes according to the multitude of his idols, that I may seize the house of Israel by their heart because they are all entangled from, and estranged, forgive me, from me by their idols. This is verse 4, verse and verse 5, therefore speak to them and say to them, thus says the Lord God, every one of the house of Israel who sets up his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble into iniquity and then comes to the prophet, I the Lord will answer him who comes. Uh, it seems I missed, I'm going to read from the word. Therefore speak to them and say to them, thus says the Lord God, every one of the house of Israel who sets up his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble into iniquity and then comes to the prophet, I the Lord will answer him who comes according to the multitude of the idols that I may seize the house of Israel by their heart because they are all estranged from me by the idols. Abba Father speaks here that all these multitude of people that now come to the, or to, and they come now seeking the voice of God that have placed all these idols ahead of God. Now God speaks. God speaks to all those that have, uh, like, have alienated. They have separated themselves from God because of the lies, because they chose Ezekiel 13, verse 19, to be trapped, for their souls to be trapped. And now, because of that magic, because of, of that sorcery, that divination, they've kept the souls, but they've kept people that should have died alive, and they killed people that should have stayed alive. That's, that's, that's the word. 
It, it sounds crazy. It sounds insane. But it is the voice of our God. It is truth. It is prophecy of what is happening now. Not through me, brothers and sisters, hermanos, hermanas, but through the spoken word is prophecy of what Abba Father sees now. He wrote it. He wanted it spoken. It is written. Verse 6, therefore say to the house of Israel, means say to everyone, thus says the Lord God, repent. He still gives us a chance. Repent. Turn away from your idols. Turn away from them that have convinced you to accept that magic, that sorcery, that divination to trap your soul through the arm. Heed the word. Repent. Turn away from your idols and turn your faces away from all your abomination. Abba Father, through the Holy Spirit, asked me, break down idols. Idols are what people see as heroes, icons, or images. That's what an idol is. A hero is one, oh, that, because of that profession, because he is so-and-so, because he holds that high title, they're heroes to people. So they, oh, they said to do it, let's do it. No, Abba Father says, repent. Turn away from your idols, from those heroes, from those so-called icons, from those so-called images, uh, those so-called heroes. Turn your faces away from all your abominations. What is abominations, brothers? Curses, evil, plagues. Can you believe that this is the spoken word? From all your abominations, turn away. Abba Father speaks and he said, break down abomination. These are synonyms. Curses, evil, plagues. And outbreaks. That's abominations. Brothers and sisters, heed the word. Turn away from the lies of their magic, their sorcery, their divination. It is abomination. And he gives us a, a synonym. It's plagues. Turn away from them. It is not from Abba Father. If it was from Abba Father, trust me, if this plague was, heed the word, if this, all glory to you, Lord Father, in the name of your son, Jesus. If this plague was from our Abba Father God in a snap, all would have died if it was a plague from, from Abba Father. Heed the word. It has been written of these plagues that he has caused among tribes that no longer exist because of the evil that they have done. They're gone. They're wiped out. Think about it, brothers and sisters. Anyone who hears this video, heed the word. Abba, Father says, repent, turn away from your idols and turn your faces away from your abominations. Turn away from your plagues, from their plagues, from their outbreaks, brothers and sisters. For anyone of the house of Israel or of the strangers who dwell in Israel, the Gentiles, who separates himself from me and sets up his idols in his heart and puts before him what causes him to stumble. He repeats it again because it is what we see now. People stumbled because of the lie. Who separates himself from me, Abba Father states, and sets up his idols in his heart accepts their lies and puts before him what causes him to stumble into iniquity, then comes to a prophet to inquire of him concerning me, I, the Lord, will answer him myself. Heed the word. This is power from the glory of our God, what he states here. If this does not scare no one to repent, 
nothing will. Your, your soul was captured by this magic, by this sorcery, by this divination. It was captured. If you do not understand what Abba Father is stating here through his word, it is written. Again, anyone who separates themselves from Abba Father God and causes themselves to stumble, not stand firm in the word, Abba Father says to them, if you come now looking for answers to people that had stood firm and not accepted the wickedness, the magic, the sorcery, the divination, the lies of these so-called idols, when they come, Lord Father says, I've already spoken. I will talk to them. I will answer them. Verse 8 out of Ezekiel 14. I will set my face against that man. He the word. This is the word of our God. This is his voice. I will set my face against that man. And make him a sign and a proverb. And I will cut him off. Of the midst of my people. Heed the word of our God. Brothers and sisters, repent. Turn back to Abba Father because this is what has been written. And Lord Jesus states, if it is written, it shall be done. It will come to. For you all that have stumbled and fell for this lie, this wicked lie, heed the word. If you don't turn back to Abba, Father, he speaks loud and clear in verse 8 of, out of Ezekiel 14. I will set my face against that man and make him a sign and a proverb. If you don't understand what a proverb is, a proverb forewarns you. You better not. For Abba, Father states it here. And I will cut him off from the midst of my people. Then you shall know that I am the Lord. And the prophet is induced to speak anything. I, the Lord, have induced that prophet. Again, if that prophet, if anyone that is speaking the word of God, and Abba Father has activated, he's urged that one to share the word, only his word, not my opinion, not the opinions of others or of so-and-so, but the word, brothers and sisters, Abba Father states is here, I, the Lord, have induced that prophet, and I will stretch out my hand against him and destroy him from among my people, Israel. If, if we... Allow these people, yes, but you know what? Uh, we should, we, we have to. It's for our, it's, it's for our better. It, it's so we can continue to get barley and pieces of bread. And we follow them. Abba Far says, then you're, you're going to get the same thing that they're going to get. As he'll set his face against us. Heat the word. Again, verse nine. And the prophet is induced to speak anything. That uh, anything else other than what the Lord has stated. And I the Lord have induced that prophet. And I will stretch out my hand against him. And destroy him from among my people Israel as well. He'll get the same punishment. 10. And they shall bear their iniquity. The punishment of the prophet shall be the same as the punishment of those who inquired. This is the spoken written word, brothers and sisters. Have the strength to hear the voice of God through scripture. I am just sharing prophecy from the word of my God. In the name of his son, Jesus. It states it here. If if someone will come in and, and convince me to not believe here, I will get the same punishment as those that inquired, did I do right? 
in getting it? Abba Father says that he will turn his face against me. I will not place myself there. Is why I'm sharing the word. Do, I do not care who laughs, who mocks, who calls me crazy. I do not care. This is scripture. So the same, the prophet will get the same punishment as of those who inquired that the house of Israel may no longer stray from me, nor be profaned any more with, with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people and I may be their God, says the Lord God. And yet, Abba Father states it so clear that he will show us that he will punish these people not just those people that entangled themselves in the lies and allowed the magic, the sorcery of, of, of those people to encapture their souls. And then anyone that is sharing the word gets coming. Well, maybe I should get it just for the better of me. Abba Father states it here that he will use us as a sign. He will use us as proverbs. For what reason? So that the house of Israel may no longer, so everyone can see, that no longer stray from me. So we will get, like me, when I read this, I got scared. I, I don't want to be manipulated, deceived, fall into that trap. So I will stand here and I heed the voice of my God because he say he's, he will use that as an example. If they don't repent, he will put a sign and punish them that the house of Israel may no longer stray from me. So we will not no longer turn away from our God, nor be profaned anymore with all their transgressions, but that they may be my people and I may be their God, says the Lord. Our God, heed the voice of our God. It is prophecy, brothers and sisters. Anyone that has accepted and stumbled because of that sorcery, heed the word. This is Ezekiel 13 and 14. And I will place all the scriptures under the description box, brothers and sisters. Study it yourselves. Break it down. Allow the Holy Spirit to bring it to light of what is happening now around us with this chaos. Profane. It's abusive to our God with lies. They're profaning our God, making him seem as if he is no God at all compared to them. Compared to their titles, their degrees, their profession. No. No longer are we going to allow it, brothers and sisters. We stand firm in the spoken written word of our God. It is truth. And we give him all the glory. Share the word. Share these scriptures to those that fell and stumbled. Their souls are, are, are captured, brothers and sisters. We need to love our brothers and sisters that stumbled because they were weak for mere barley and pieces of bread. Bring them back. Tell them what it states. They need to repent. Heed the word.